Welcome back, guys. It's Vengeance Hero, and you are joining me for episode 7 of Final Fantasy VI Pixel Remaster. We are jumping right back in where we left off. And once again, I don't exactly remember where we're supposed to be going. Splendid young man, you've become. Please take your time and relax within the castle. I don't know if I'm actually supposed to be here. I don't think so. Don't entirely remember. This is actually where we're supposed to be going. This is where we found the Esper, and Terra flew off. She went crazy.
someone at Figaro Castle saw where she went. Okay, so... I guess... Go to Figaro. Again. Submerge this month. It can take you to the desert beyond the mountains if you'd like. Okay, I don't think I want to do that. These good for nothing brigands have been locked up for thievery and worse. You best keep a safe distance. Oh, get the fuck out of my way. God damn. Looks like a wolf. See the day when a human flew over a mountain range. Unbelievable, isn't it? Okay, so we now flew over the mountain range. Excellent. Oh, Sabin, you sure have grown up, haven't you? I still remember that time. You know, my word was I furious with you. I think I learned an important life lesson that day. Edgar, how long do you expect me to keep waiting for you to propose? Sheesh. The Stalin Empire has already overthrown all three of the other nations on the southern continent. It's only a matter of time before they make their way up here. all over the world are busy studying magic, but you can only learn so much about something without seeing it. You need to get beyond the mountains while this castle can't fly over them, but it can dive under them. Talk to the man in charge of the engineer. I wonder if that's all I'm supposed to do, is just go under the mountains. Assuming that's what we have to do. She said she flew over the mountain range. Okay. Strange glowing creature flew right through here, scared the living daylights out of me, took off southward. 
towards Jador. Okay. Oh, hey, what's up, man? We meet again. Leave me alone. Um? I'll keep... Talk to that guy if I were you. He's an assassin. I don't know, brother. My younger brother is a bit eccentric, lives alone up north, says he's going to build a coliseum or some such nonsense. That thing, I don't know what it was, but it tore up my house. Looked like some kind of glowing monster. Just fucked up your house? Sorry about that. Are you a friend of Locke's? He's always he always visits Rachel's house when he's in town. sell some of this stuff, but whatever. Oof. Something really a monster stopped right in front of my little girl. I could see it had gentle eyes. Oh. That? Oh, that's locks. Hear me, I almost spilled the beans. Oh. Is there a way to change... There is a way to change your party. I would like to Let's stay away from that house on the eastern edge of town. Crazy old kid sits there mashing up herbs all day for his shady concoctions. I even heard he's got a ghost in his basement. shit. quickly double check and see if there's a way to switch your party. away. Hmm. I don't think so. I think you pretty much have to go, I'd have to go all the way back to Narsh and probably talk to Locke, so 
I'm not gonna fucking do that. I'll just do this for now. Okay, these things are actually dealing a bit of damage. Most town on the world map. Welcome. Shady kids from Zozo wanders down here looking for an easy mark. Be careful. Maybe I should actually sell some of my shit. I saw a girl bathed in light speed off toward the northern mountains. This is the Jador auction house. It's always full of wealthy aristocrats. Truly valuable works of art can be acquired at this auction house. Probably not by the likes of you, though. Oh, rude. Today's auction is over. Okay. I feel like you can get, like, an Esper there? Jador Owser's Mansion? You're the spitting image of Maria, huh? Haven't heard of you. You say she's a famous opera singer. Stealing your shit, bro? Oh. Picture of a lovely lady. Oh, 
looks awfully familiar. I sworn there was like a way to go down or something in this place. Maybe not. being an opera singer when I grow up, huh? You don't know where the opera house is? It's way south of here. Okay, so now we have to go south. I'm literally just going further south. Opera house is closed. Okay. after battle because it's still sleeping. You missed me, bitch! Never heard of it. Okay. Actually, I feel like there is something right. Oh, tent? Yeah, that's what I want. Not sure how I got nine tents. Did I buy a bunch? Yes. 
feel like there, there are definitely things to fight in here. Second hand on my watch is pointing at 30. It was very bad. Very, very bad. We maybe should not be here. Monster in a box. Oh. <laughs> I don't even have that many Phoenix downs, so like every time I fucking fight one of those. Bitches, I'm gonna end up in fuck. Great people here, you can trust everything they say. Sure. Girl? Nope, haven't seen any girls lately. And there's definitely not one on top floor of this building, so don't bother checking. Listen to the others. Trust me, it's eight. 
Hey, no cutting. Get him. I'm in line, bro. I guess it probably attacks everything. Brigands glove? Changes the steel command to mug. Okay, so that'll be for lock then. Second hand is pointing at the floor. Very nice. Seconds are divisible by 20. late, homie. Oh no. Oh god. What the fuck was 
sa poche. Can use magic though. Yeah. Um, there's some guy there. Burning fist. Ooh, some big damage. Save do. Okay, this guy's probably probably gonna kick my ass. What brings you up here on this fine day? Do you need to get through here? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be in the way. Not very strong in a fight. I'd hate for there to be any trouble, so why don't I just let you pass? That Aluma. I feel like he's gonna fuck me up. Right in the crotch. It's good timing. There, bro. That wasn't so bad. Oh, I thought my fucking game crashed there for a second. Headband. Sixteen quarter. What? Terra's here? Er, uh, er. Uh. Terra? Terra? She's frightened. Who are you? This girl is your friend, I presume? Is Tara okay? So, her name is Tara. Tara. Interesting. Oof. Her life is in no danger. She simply used a power she didn't know she had, and it overwhelmed her. Now her body won't listen to what she's telling it to do. As for myself, I am Ramu, the Esper Ramu. You're an Esper? But don't Espers live in another world? That doesn't mean there's anything stopping us from living in this one. Espers come in a variety of forms. My appearance is similar to your own, so I can live here as one of you. Without fear of anyone discovering the truth. I hide the fact that you're an Esper. Humans and Espers are incompatible creatures. I've heard that long ago humans and Espers lived side by side in this world. I'd always thought it was just a fairy tale, but... No, that was no fairy tale. That was the truth. Humans and Espers used to live together in harmony. At least until the War of the Magi. The War of the Magi. took place long ago. Espers fought humans who had been infused with magical powers extracted from other Espers. A 
After that meaningless war had ended, the Espers fashioned a new realm to which they exiled themselves. <clears throat> they feared that if they remained, it would only be, be a matter of time before their powers were targeted again. They feared that if they remained... What? It's the same thing. But then one day, about 20 years ago, humans stumbled upon the entrance to that hidden realm. Humans who knew of Espers and the secrets of our powers. And thus began the hunt, for Gestal, the leader of the men, knew that he could use the powers extracted from us to create an invincible army. <clears throat> as soon as we realized what was happening, we erected a massive gate and forced the humans out. Those who were captured are still held in the Empire's Magitech research facility being drained of their powers. I nearly escaped the narrowly escaped that same fate and now I'm here with you. Terra's just fucking KO'd on the floor. She seems to have calmed down a little. I called Terra here to me when I sensed that she'd lost control. She responded to that call. So Terra's an Esper? No, she's a bit different from us. She looks like she's in pain. She's afraid of what she is, and that is a painful thing. What can we do to help her? she understands her true nature, the fear and doubt should subside. Is there nothing we can do? The others of my kind who are trapped in Gestalt's Magitech research facility may be, a, be able to help her. Huh? The Magitech research facility? Your people are in there? I escaped alone, abandoning my friends and hiding here like a coward, but I fear I can remain here no longer. What do you mean? Gestal's methods are mistaken. He knows only to drain an Esper's powers by force, but that's not the way to unlock our potential. Only when we become Magicite can our strength be transferred in full. What are you saying? I'm going to turn myself into Magicite so I can lend you my strength. Magicite? Magicite is an Esper's power in its purest form. When an Esper dies, Magicite is all that's left behind. But... These are my companions who fell as we fled the Empire, and I will give you my power as well. Yeah, brother? Ramu, but why? He turned himself to Magicite. He gave up his own life so that we'd have the power to stop them. Why would you do such a thing? If our power is used for destruction, the skies will darken and life will fade from the earth. You must stop the Empire. There must not be a second war of the Magi. Obtained Ramu Magicite. Kate Sith. Siren. Kieran. Tara, wait for us. We'll be back for you. I don't remember how you... Oh, yes. Here we go.
Wait. Wait. Okay, so. I think it lets you learn magic, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, everyone's here, I was just thinking. Let's talk on the way back down. So the Empire's been draining magic from Asper's. Tell us, is all of that true? I was asleep when they performed my infusion, so I don't know for sure, but I've heard rumors to that effect. I suppose we must find a way to slip into the Empire. We best split up again. We still need to beef up our defenses in Narsh. That would indeed be wise. <coughs> I'll go to the Empire. I know it inside and out, but alone? Don't worry, I'll go with her. Lock. Might I advise going in greater numbers? Please form one party. Uh, I think. Did we go with Sabin? Yeah, I think we'll go this route. Wait for us back in Narsh. Don't worry, we'll be fine. If we need to change party members, I guess we'll have to head back to Narsh. As suspected. So how are we going to get there? The Empire's on the southern continent, but they've closed all the harbors and no ships are permitted to leave port. The town of Jador to the south is full of wealthy aristocrats. One of them might know a way in. Where there's a gill. Well, yeah? Why are you coming with me? Hmm, well there's the rumor about a legendary treasure hidden in Imperial territory and all. I thought I might have a look around. No, he wants to smash. <coughs> by selecting espers from the abilities. To summon the esper in battle, select the name of the esper by scrolling to the top of the magic command list. You can only call upon each esper once per battle. When an esper is equipped to someone, that character will learn spells over time. The set of spells each esper teaches is different. The higher a spell's acquisition rate, the faster it will be memorized. Some espers also permanently increase an attribute like strength, magic, HP, or MP when the character who has them equipped gains a level. Fuck yeah. Okay. I think we're going to cut the episode off here now that we've found Terra, and we are going to be heading to the Magitech Research Facility to potentially save other espers. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode. Please make sure to leave a like if you did, and let me know in the comment section what you think so far. And uh, hit subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any future episodes. And as always, guys, I look forward to seeing you in the next one.